So as you can see the, well, not completely. I think the miler that I cut off is, is big enough. So I put the stretching jig on top of it with the aluminium pointing upwards. So when I'm gonna stretch it, the aluminium will be on the bottom side. I use my double-sided tape to temporarily attach this miler. This time I don't need gazillion clamps and, and whatever because I'm not gonna stretch it as hard as I did with these blue panels that are standing there by the way. Because they were tensioned maybe a little bit even too much. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it a uh, well random I, I guess. I'm gonna do it random. And the battery was empty, and I can hear my printer is going on. My wax printer sometimes have these weird things that it goes on every hour or so and screw up a lot of energy. Although it is in standby mode, I don't ask it to wake up every time, but it does. So how did it work already? Position it kind of okay. -ish. It has been a while. Maybe a year or two. Maybe. I did this. So there's foam tape here, because I made this panel especially for a certain width, blah blah blah. Uh, and this, this stuff I can just push in by looking at the other side. And uh, But here, I hope I'll be able to glue it properly. Oh well, I'll just stand on it or something. We'll manage. So let's go, let's go. See where it goes. I mean, what can happen? You have to start over again. That's the only thing that can happen. So I add my pump. Just a bicycle pump. And pump up this tire that is gonna stretch the membrane evenly. I'm guessing the resonance. Well, I'm not guessing, I'm just doing something. So, this is the outline of where the spacer is plus a little bit extra. So I'm gonna put glue everywhere. I mean like, just there and slightly over this alum aluminium. Up to the first trees. It doesn't hurt to have glue there at all.
And now we wait. I might adjust the resonance uh, after it's drying. It might have like changed a little bit. Pump in a little bit more than dump on the frame that is behind it. That I already uh, put glue on. Not very interesting to see, so I did it already. It's dried as well. So I'm just waiting to for this to dry. And then we're off to go, good, good to go. Hello, puss. So yeah, now the scary part, blue is dry. I'll take this resonance, not sure what it is, but we'll see. Now there's something I should have done earlier. Now there's glue. I know these spaces are not completely 100% accurate, which is annoying because it is going to be used to line this stuff up. So here goes nothing, I guess. There are some things I would like to change in uh, when I do redo this, if I do this once more. Uh, let me first get the pump off because it might lose some air when I do that. There, Ooh. then shut the valve. Okay. This is the part of, which is scary. If I had a light to put underneath there, I might be able to see what I'm doing more clearly. So I'll use my phone. Just dump it under, I guess. <laughs> so I line it up first at the connection points and then see if it lines up with the coil and I think it does so yeah I think that's Ooh. the best I can do for now It's kind of stuck. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna flip it, push the miler into the glue, then I'm gonna stand on these sides. Or maybe I'm gonna stand on these sides first. <laughs> to me this is new, so I'm just gonna put it on the ground here. I'm just gonna stand here. Turn it around. It should stick. And here we got the. I'm gonna push this in. This is all new for me. So don't blame me if I fuck up. So this is the only miler I can reach to do this. The the rest is underneath this wood, so I'm just gonna, you know, stand some more on it. Okay. 
I don't weigh that much, but I hope it helps. Well, let me shut off this lamp. Uh, off my phone. There we go. Moment of truth. Is it glued on? Or not? So my worries is that these pieces are not glued. Properly. Cutting this free is also quite hard. So I leave some of the air out. So it doesn't rip on me. Grab a knife. Which I used to cut off the tape, so it's on the ground here, of course. Oh, it completely deflated. I don't like that. I want a little bit of air in there. Makes the cutting easier. So, gonna add a little bit of air. It's a French uh, valve and the problem with that is it, if the pressure is too low it just deflates completely. Grab my knife and I'm first gonna cut this. Might want to do it from the other side to be honest. I'll cut the ends then first. Flip it. Sounds like I know what I'm doing, but this is really for me, it's also a gamble. Looks like there's some crap underneath there. Not sure what that is. I think it is bubbles. It's a panel with a flap here that can connect to the next panel. Okay, so I'm gonna solder some uh, leads to it. Those leads from a, um, you know, from a test setup with these uh, banana plugs, so I can easily connect different stuff to it without like uh, having to re-solder this. So I'm gonna solder some leads to this, so I can connect stuff without destroying it. Hopefully, we might need some tapes at the ends, but who knows. We'll see. So what is the DC resistance? It should be something around 3.1 or something.
Okay, 3.5, which is great actually. So that's because uh, the cutter, I used it as a plotter, so it just cuts directly on the line. Uh, and it doesn't take into account that it might like cut off a little bit or, you know, like... So the coil ends up a little bit smaller than I planned for, but it's only just a tiny, tiny bit. So I should get 3.1 according to my calculation and it's a little bit higher. But that's okay. <laughs> 